Good morning, everyone. We are, that's one of our tents just over in the distance, overlooking the Walmart. I'll take you there in just a moment. But I wanted to walk you by this gentleman in his vehicle. Strides for peace, give life a chance, Grant Park. The gentleman you see working on the crosses in the back here is sadly someone I recognize because this is not the first time I've seen him because this is not the first mass shooting that he's been to. Uh, he is from the Chicago area, correct, Sean? I was asking my producer. Um, his name is... Greg Zanis. Greg Zanis. Um, I saw Mr. Zanis for the first time at the Pulse Nightclub Massacre in Orlando, Florida. He's back here, and what he does is he's making these crosses, and he'll put the name, if he knows the name, the name of each victim on this cross. Greg, if I, if I may ask you, I don't want to stop you, but how many of these shootings have you been to doing this work? Um, I'm willing to interview, you know, I'm, I've done 26,815 in America. I've done every major, uh, every major thing since it's Columbine. And, um, it's just that I'm expected to do this more now than, and you know, it's it, it's it's hard because yesterday morning we also, you know, I have to go to Ohio, if you know what I mean, and um, I'm just trying to, you know, try to make this a family here today, and of course, you know, with Ohio, I'm trying to make the country a family, and you know, I I got opinions too. I just think that get to love each other in our country here. I just broke on Saturday. So I'm tired. Tired of this. You gotta ask questions to keep me going. Nothing. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I didn't I didn't want to ask too many questions. I didn't want to get in your way. That's I've just fine. I, I I've would sadly like to do them one at a time so it's more comfortable for me. I've sadly just seen you too many places. What can I say? No place is safe anymore. And, um, I know what it means every time you show up. Well, you, you but I also know, know I want to show up and get the heck out of here. Of course, but you I know, also that's know why I'm here at 4 a.m. Of course, and, uh, I know what it means to the families. I mean, I've heard people yeah. uh, say how meaningful it is for them to sit in front of the cross that's, that you placed in honor of their loved one. That's exactly it. it it's just um, I lost. I lost somebody in 1996. My father-in-law was murdered, and he was shot in the head and dead. And you know, I found him in the bottom of the stairs in a pool of blood. And I just—I'm a master carpenter. Why shouldn't I be doing this for everybody else? You know, because when this happens, I feel the pain. I know it's so raw. I'm going to let you get back to it because I have to get ready for CBS Welcome this morning. But I'm going to come back because I'd like to do a, uh, another interview with you. And I'm going to sleep in my truck. I'm going to put a sign on there. Don't wake me up till 11. Okay. And I'm expecting groups from. I got somebody coming from Parkland. I right. got uh, comfort dogs coming from Virginia. I mean, Vermont. Wow. I have. You know, they chartered an airplane. They'll be here. They're on, they're here now. Of course, I have Billy Graham Ministries coming, and I have uh, 
Samaritan's Purse coming. And you understand I'm the lead on this. Yeah. yeah. Right now you probably see I, I don't have all the names. I don't have any photographs, but I'll have all that before I leave. You know, I, I don't want to leave without the job being properly done. Except that I'm not going to have time to shave or take a bath until I get back to Chicago. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us um, quickly this morning. I appreciate it. And I'm hard of hearing that. Thank, thanks you guys for coming too. Absolutely. You know, because you guys give the message to the whole country. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, everyone, so we will see you shortly on CBS This Morning. You can see uh, in the distance there are candles on the ground that have now been placed in front of the balloons and the flowers and the cars that have been left here outside the Walmart. It is still a crime scene. You can see all the satellite trucks. There's media from around the world who have been here and remain here as we wait to get more information today. Uh, the gunman may make his first court appearance later today. We'll see you shortly on CBS This Morning. As I record this video, it's about 4.30 in the morning, local time here in El Paso, Texas. And as I was walking to the live shot for CBS This Morning, I recognized the gentleman who I've seen at other mass shootings. Um, Pulse nightclub in Orlando, I remember he brought crosses and he put the crosses uh, not too far from the nightclub around what is a lake and i just remember seeing parents of the deceased sitting in front of the crosses that bear the names of the name of their child and i just remember realizing what a poignant memorial it had become for these parents because they didn't want to or couldn't go to the crime scene and so that cross sort of became their place where they went so I wanted to introduce you to the gentleman who is here. He's from Chicago. Uh, he's tired, drove through the night, and um, I wanted you to hear from him. So uh, tell the audience your first and last name. I'm, I'm Greg Zanis, and I'm the founder of Crosses for Losses, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And um, today I drove a thousand, I left Saturday, but today I just drove 1,500 miles straight through. And what I'm trying to do here today is, is make this a family, make everybody here a family. Well, I've been to Texas, this is my third time here. I was in Santa Fe, Texas, where 10 kids were gunned down in the school. I was in uh, Sutherland, Texas, where 26 people were gunned down in the church. It, it's, I've done all of these, you know, I'm, I'm in and out, I was trying to sneak in and out, that's why I'm here. and. Um, but I've done these all around the country, you know, Boston Marathon, the uh, uh, Las Vegas shooting, the Umpqua school shooting, the shooting in Red Lake, Minnesota, and the Boston Marathon bombing. But what I'm, and, and of course the shooting at the, at the temple, at the syn you know, synagogue in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and in, in Milwaukee, the Sea Ike Temple uh, shooting. I, I put up Stars of David's crosses and crescent moons and blue ribbons for police officers like in Dallas. You remember I was here for that. Five people were killed and the what a week later we're in Baton Rouge and they're shooting three other officers and killing them. And at the same week they they killed two officers in, in uh, Mich Min Michigan. And I'm here for everybody. I'm doing this what I'm trying to say is this the whole country has lost here, but this is uniting everybody together in a, in a very odd way. So what we're doing is we're we're going to say Santa Fe strong. We're going to say no. I say United States strong. We're 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 surviving this, and we're we're doing this together. We're all suffering. Of course, I'm I'm going to be leaving as soon as I can here. I'm going to be going to Ohio for another nine that were murdered. You notice I don't put one up for any gunman. And uh, just... Uh, Greg, by trade, you're a carpenter? I'm a master builder carpenter. And um, I'm, what reti you, I'm retired now. When did you do your first mass I, shooting? I put my first cross up for my father-in-law. I found him murdered in January the 15th, 1996. Shot in the head, dead. And pushed down at the bottom of the stairs in a pool of blood 
and uh, it's luckily these people don't have to see what I saw. But all right, so yeah, maybe this is my way of dealing with post-traumatic stress syndrome. How many other people have it? So I'm I'm not going to go see a shrink. I'm just going to be a workaholic. That's my way of doing it. So I'm working 16 hours a day on this. I go home and I'm making these morning till night. And it, at last year I made 5,000 and delivered them. I mean, what is wrong here? So you don't just go to mass shootings? You go oh, I, to... I go to everywhere. I don't know. You, you know, I, I did uh, the tornado in Alabama where 23 people were killed there. I did the Utica tornado in Illinois where eight people were killed. I, I went and I snuck in and out to, to uh, Paradise you know, put up 89 memorials. Oh, know? for the fire, for the fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Anybody ask for anything. It, I was in Mississippi a, a year and a half ago. There was a military plane where 16 people died in right. that. And I, I do train crashes and I do a ton of car crashes. Any type of unanticipated su sudden death, I get asked to do it. You know, I did the Kennedy crosses, at the, the ellipse at the White House, and what year was that, 2000? Does all of this work and, you know, the crosses and what goes into it, and the gasoline, and the hotels that you stay in, or who, you just pay for this I out of your own pocket? I hotels, I'm sleeping in my truck, and I'm not, I'm not down here trying to, like some of these groups trying to make money, I, I'm losing money on this. You know, last year I borrowed 6000 on my credit cards today. And tomorrow and the next day, you know, I'm gonna spend about a thousand bucks, my money. How many names do you have in your notebook here? I'm, I'm at a unprecedented number, 26,805. Um, but by the day, time I leave today, it'll be 26,815. And then tomorrow I'm doing nine more. And uh, then I'm going back to Chicago. I'm doing seven more there. And it's, it's just, um, the number's unbelievable. So what am I thinking? I'm averaging, I'm averaging maybe 20, uh, five, 20, 25 a day, 100 a week, 5,000 a year. I don't know if you... Crosses you for losses. That's what he does. I see him far too often because I know when I see you what it means you don't see me. I but sneak thank in. you for I sneak doing in and out. You know. no I know but when you I know. see the crosses but when well, yeah. I see the crosses and sometimes I do see you I, um, I but see but when I do I'm just saying there's a recognition of what you're here for right it's another it's another reminder of what the next community is dealing with it's, it's, hope. it's love it's hope it's hope it's love and it's like I say we're in America, this is a family that's grieving. Our whole country is grieving here. We're in shock. You mentioned coming in and and not being seen and doing this, you know, early in the I morning don't know what or you late guys are doing night. No, <laughs> live television. But I thought I'm going to be in and out, and you guys are never going to. But do you want? Is it that you want to be anonymous and you don't want people to see? I don't want you to think that I'm grandstanding and trying to upstage anybody. I'm doing this so the families are going to have a picture on here. They're going to get remembered. They're, people are going to come here and start writing on these crosses, and we're going to show these families unprecedented love because now we have some place to come for each one. Their families are going to come after the funerals. are going to leave the bouquets there. I know exactly what's going to happen here. They're going to lift up and smile and say, people care about us, period. May I shake your hand? I'll you give mean. I'll give you a hug too. <laughs> Thank you for what you're doing. And you get one on too. behalf of a grateful, a grateful nation. Thank you for what you're doing. I bet you want to keep it. You may it, have huh? looked good TV. Huh? You're trying to make I got extra bandages. I'm gonna grab me a marker. I'm just grabbing me a marker.